The circulatory system. The circulatory system consists of the heart, a network of blood vessels, and blood. Heart, which is a muscular organ, is the center of the human circulatory system. It is approximately the size of a clenched fist, weighing about. 250 to 350 grams, and is located in the thoracic cavity between the lung towards the left side of the chest. The heart is enclosed within a double-walled, membranous, fluid-filled sac called pericardium. The pericardium protects the heart and serves as the lubrication system, shock absorber, and anchoring bolts. It also prevents the heart from getting overfilled with blood. The heart has four chambers: two small upper chambers called atria, and two larger lower chambers called ventricles. The right and left atria is separated by a thin muscular wall called. Interatrial septum, whereas the right and left ventricles are separated by a thick wall called interventricular septum. These chambers prevent oxygenated blood from mixing with deoxygenated blood, that is, oxygen-poor blood. The deoxygenated blood returns to the heart after circulating through the body. It enters the heart through the superior and inferior vena cava, into the right atrium, and passes through the right ventricle. The right ventricle pumps the blood into the lungs through the pulmonary arteries. The lungs refresh this blood with a supply of oxygen. This oxygen-rich blood. From the lungs, enters the left atrium and then the left ventricle. The left ventricle pumps the blood through the aorta to the rest of the body. There are four valves within the heart: tricuspid valve, mitral valve, pulmonary valve, and the aortic valve. The tricuspid valve guards the opening between the right atrium and the right ventricle, and the bicuspid or mitral valve guards the opening between the left atrium and the left ventricle. The openings of the right and left ventricles into the pulmonary artery and the aorta, respectively, are guarded by the two semilunar valves. The pulmonary valve and the aortic valve. These valves ensure that the blood flows only in one direction and prevents backward flow when the atria or ventricles contract. Blood vessels are a series of tubes which are attached to the heart, and blood flows through these blood vessels in our body. There are. Three types of blood vessels: arteries, veins, and capillaries. Arteries are the blood vessels which carry oxygenated blood away from the heart. Veins carry blood from the organs back to the heart. In most cases, this blood is deoxygenated. Capillaries are the smallest blood vessels with a thickness of only one cell. They connect arteries and veins and enable the exchange of water, oxygen, carbon dioxide, nutrients, and chemical substances between blood and surrounding cells. When the heart pumps out blood, it is under high pressure. Therefore. The arteries which carry the blood away from the heart are equipped with thick and elastic walls to sustain this pressure. 
Veins collect the blood from different organs and bring it back to the heart, so that the blood they carry is not under pressure. Therefore, veins have thin walls. The wall of capillaries is one cell thick and porous, which enables materials to pass through it.